everybody. We back. It's Sunday. How y'all doing? It's Panda yes. Pandemonium. The rest of the crew is here. Infamous J, yes. Rod, Vocab. Here. Sound off, y'all. How y'all feeling today? How's the, how's the week for you? Been good. Can't complain yeah. so far. Respect, respect. What 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 was that, Jay? <laughs> what was that? Yo, why do you sound like a chipmunk on my end? Do I sound like a chipmunk? You sound like a chipmunk on my end. Wow. Do I sound like a chipmunk to everybody else? <laughs> nope. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm going to need you to record Adele whatever it is you hear <laughs> for posterity. <laughs> if anybody else thinks I sound like a chipmunk, please let me know. It might be me. Let me make sure it's me. <laughs> oh, so while he's working on it, looking at that, just so everybody knows, we do have a bunch of new stuff that you will see in the chats. We got like our emotes and all that jazz. Uh, I also want to, for the first time, thank everybody. Everybody that's here. One, the four of us that are sitting here. Three of y'all outside of me. And everybody else who has been with us and listening to us. We actually just recently made Twitch Affiliate. So shout out to y'all. Appreciate the love. So now we got all the extra cool stuff that we can do and put in the chats for y'all. Um, Jay is going to be coming up with some more artwork. So there will be a lot more custom stuff coming up down the pipeline uh well if we can get him back in the stream officially to stay that'd be even better but we're gonna work on that too <laughs> but some of the stuff the sound alerts i don't think i have fully in so if you try for those today they may not work i apologize for that but they will be up and going by the time next time we do another stream so just as a heads up wanted to keep y'all and let y'all know in case y'all try to use something and it don't want to go through or something like that anyway as the title suggests, we tired. <laughs> it's been a long week. So next time we do another stream. There you go. All right. Hey Jumbo, how's it going? How's it going? What's up, people? <laughs> do I still sound like a chipmunk? As the title suggests, we tired. <laughs> Uh, I hear some. I hear us in the background. I hear, oh yeah, I want to be like I hear us. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, Jumbo. Hey, I'm trying to figure why it sound like this. It's okay. Does everybody sound like a chipmunk or just me? Who? Probably just me. This is weird. It's because you a panda. It's that's it. That's what it is. It is. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. It's gonna backfire one day. <laughs> I right, can blame Chip and Dale if you want to. That, you know what? I'll I was about to say, up. speaking of Chip and Chipmunks, <laughs> speaking of Chipmunks, hey. you do have that Chip and Dale uh, movie that came out. It's coming out. Did it come out? It came out. It came, it out, came out Friday. Did anybody see it yet? I saw it. You did? Was it worth it? Definitely worth it. Definitely it worth was it. Hilarious. Yeah. Very funny. I, I'll tell you this much. If you've had any. If he's a any doubts at this point. Disney can't can do can't do anything. Watch that movie and shut up. <laughs> That's gotcha. all I will say. Okay. <laughs> he said, "Watch that movie and just shut up." Because yeah, up. they did they did the thing. They threw yeah. big Joker after big Joker after big Joker. The oh wow! So was they was they was, uh, uh, they was on one. They was they was spades tabling it. Is what you're saying? Mm -hmm. That's a guarantee. Right. Even a even a certain <laughs> cameo, even a certain cameo of a video game character that was rejected in the game. Okay, okay. I'll leave it at that. Okay. You can probably see the spoilers online. Even some surprise pop up cameos, but you have to pay very close attention. You might miss. I know I okay. miss. Naru I know I miss Naruto, and there's a South Park character in there somewhere in the background. But you have to be okay. very like one of the split second ones, and it's kind okay. of like. I know people have been saying it's like Roger Rabbit, definitely Roger Rabbit vibes. That's what somebody was telling me. Yeah, they say they gave Roger Rabbit Roger Rabbit vibes. So mm -hmm. I was yep. really, I'm like, hey, I'm looking forward to. I'm probably gonna watch it tonight. I'm not gonna lie, probably gonna watch it tonight. Uh, yeah, like they could probably do this. They didn't have to do this, but they did it. Like this one of like, okay, Disney, you, I would have saw this in the theaters. <laughs> oh wow, the okay, and that's saying something. That is saying something. That is definitely sitting saying something. in a movie cool. crowd and laughing at the cameos. This would have been way funnier. Got you. 
something has been said. Yeah, but definitely I would recommend it easy 9 out of 10 easily. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. What? Okay, first off, for y'all, if y'all have not seen the show before or if you've only seen a couple of Rod's reviews, Rod don't play with his reviews. <laughs> so for him to say anything is above a 7 yeah, is rare. <laughs> wow. Above an 8? Man, that's man. almost God tier. <laughs> a 9, bro. This man said a 9. Yeah, yeah, go, go check this out. Yeah, definitely yeah. go check this out. You're yeah. gonna like it. Like, okay, especially with the CG and the animation style, you see a good mix of both. It is very fun. Pay attention because okay. you'll miss a lot of cameos, especially yeah. one infamous cameo that lasts a little longer than you would expect. But if you've been online this weekend, you probably know what I'm talking about. But I'm keeping it spoiler free. Bet, bet. Bet, bet. Yeah, uh, characters, just general from what I saw, they got John Mulaney is Chip, Adam Sandberg is Dale, Let's see here, Kiki Lane is, who, I'm assuming, is that Gadget, Gidget, is that Gidget? Is Gidget even in here? G- no, Gadget, Gadget, yes. I can inform all the, Gadget? all the record records are in I can't remember if it's Gadget or Gidget. It's Gadget, and okay. you're gonna Gadget. hate who she ended up with. Yep. <laughs> and I haven't even seen the movie yet. Pause. Ooh. It's not one of the. It's not Chip or Dale. No. That's Is so it Monterey cool. Jack? No. Nope. It better not be Monterey Jack. I would be okay with Monterey Jack though. Like Monterey is that. Bo- Monterey is that boy. Like yeah, you can't like sleep him. on Monterey Jack. Like he was ready for the big boys before anybody rep for the big boys. Like come on. <laughs> but put it like this: consider them all actors in the show from wrestling. Dang. So they're all were actors. That's the best way I could put it without okay. going too okay. far into details. Okay. They even explain why they have the normal voices that, instead of the chickmunk voices. Okay. They explain that. It makes sense when you think about it. You're like, okay, I, you can roll with it. I know some people get leery, especially I know when the DuckTales reboot came out, there were people who didn't like the fact that they didn't sound like ducks, <laughs> which I never understood. I'm like, it's a reboot. Gotcha, gotcha. But it made sense of what they were. But Chippendale, I hope they do an actual reboot. Like I wouldn't mind an actual reboot of Rescue Rangers. I think they just wanted to dip their toe in the water. And I think they well, probably didn't have to they do to a reboot at some point. Like, wasn't there a new one? But it was one. Of, it was like that blocky new cartoon style that they've been doing, like they did with Ducktales. No, not that. That was a separate series. That was a okay. Something different. Okay, I think it was just like them being just chipmunks in a park. I wouldn't even. Count oh, that okay, as a okay. Mm. It wasn't rescue. It was Chip and Dale, yes, but it, it wasn't was Chip rescue. and Dale, but it wasn't. It wasn't Rescue Rangers version. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So, well, yeah, y'all heard it here first. My man said nine out of ten. So he did say that. Y'all, he many, I'm still surprised that he said nine out of ten. I never thought we'd get a nine out of ten out of Rod That's on wild. anything. Like, so, all right, that's definitely one. Um, we are going to we we gonna play this real calm and smooth today, uh, because half of us ain't got no energy. The other half is on seventy five percent, and the rest is probably on like twenty five. So, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try to hit some of the old stuff that we've missed as well uh, today. I know one thing that. Um, we had, and this is just a small little thing since we're talking about cartoon shows. Uh, let me get this, delete this out the way here. I do want to run up, uh, where was it? Where was it? Well, we're on Disney, so let's just go here. Where are we going? We're about to take she a trip home. in our favorite rocket ship. Hey, so, oh, yeah. since, we, since we're on the whole Disney thing, we might as well go ahead and hit Marvel while we're at it. Um, she Hulk is coming. I did not get the dates. I apologize. I should have looked that up. But it's August. It's in August. 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 Okay. August. So She Hulk is coming out. We have a couple different things that I personally don't prefer. One is this is kind of like an early imagery that they had, like early, early imagery, right? She Hulk was buff, which every comic I've seen She Hulk in, she was relatively buff she had you know what i mean like she was like a bodybuilder female bodybuilder is mm-hmm. what she looked like um they for some reason 
and this was like a mandatory thing, did this to her. What the fuck is that? What is mm. it? They basically her? slimmed her down, and it was like a mandatory thing that came down the pipeline. They didn't want her to be extra muscular. They like wanted her to be slim. So, like, I've seen a couple pictures of her carrying people in her Hulk form, and I was like, that just looks real fake. Like, I understand it's possible, you know what I mean? But usually when someone's holding a person, there's a certain amount of flexation of the arm that occurs. Right, right. It didn't look like she was even flexing the arm to hold the person. So it was like they three they CG the person over like a dummy body. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I the image didn't even look like she had like she was even using her arms, let alone holding a person. You know. Sure. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that particular piece of it. She was always felt like She Hulk was always fine to me. I don't know about y'all, but She Hulk was always fine to me. But it wasn't because she was that petite feminine beauty. It was her. It was her being her power. It was her power. You know what I mean? Like her, her being herself and not caring. Her confidence. You know what I'm saying? That swag that she has. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You know, being muscular is a thing. And like I, I know some women who have done bodybuilding and do bodybuilding, and they are some of the baddest chicks I know. And it's not almost always because they're fine, you know, model body. It's the confidence that they exude. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so, true. I think that's that was she a part Hulk, of... I mean, we showed that Hellfire Gala picture for a while back. Right. Right. And even if, even even muscular, she's never not looked feminine. Right. You know? Yeah, it's a it's a weird take. I mean, I was kind of attributing a lot of it to maybe it's just early CGI work. Maybe they ain't finished the CGI yet. I mean, that's yeah. what I'm hoping and praying. But hey. I mean, the actress has the right build to be She Hulk. I don't know if oh, she definitely. didn't have something. Hey, they better learn. We did Sonic. We'll do She Hulk. <laughs> they better learn. Yeah, yeah totally. Marvel. I guess that was an executive order that got passed down, from what I heard. Uh, from what I was looking that's, through. Yeah, that's interesting. I want one so. thing. She Hulk should be able, or maybe it's a budget thing. So maybe they can't do the CGI muscle just in good compare. Because I saw an interesting argument about this on YouTube, uh-huh. someone or TikTok. I forgot where. And someone brought up the point that maybe it was fantastically Frankie or someone. I don't, I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. remember who it was, but that's someone you should check out on TikTok on YouTube, by the way. But she's a black woman content creator. But anyway, yeah. um, the point the person made was that it's still early CGI. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like, I know some people like, compared to the Hulk you see in the trailer, that She-Hulk just looks incomplete. That could be, that very well be, could be because the CGI is not done. And they've had so many iterations of the Hulk to pull off of over the years. So it's probably easier to maybe condense him down and maybe they have a lower budget compared to a movie budget, if that well, makes sense. This is, and I, I see that, I would see that, and I would agree with that. My only problem is this: you have Smart Hulk, and the image. There was another image that I forgot to grab. It was him and her, excuse me, in Hulk form in a bar, sitting next to each other, and you could tell the difference. You know what? While we're talking, I'm gonna see if I can pull it. But you could tell the difference between the two of them, like between correction. You could tell them between the Smart Hulk in She Hulk and Smart Hulk in Avengers. Like you could easily tell the difference in CG because his body looked smaller, right? Um, it wasn't as it wasn't as. Let me see if I can pull it up. You remember the scene where he was right when he was about to start creating the time machine, and mm-hmm. they were sitting in the cafe and he was eating breakfast. Yeah, oh, yeah, that scene. So here we go. I found it. Here we go. Give me just a moment. Oh, oh. So you see this? I see yet. Oh. That, yeah. They hopefully they can brush up the CGI. Ooh, that looks kind of bad. But you see it look he like for budget wise, I can see how this would work to a degree, right? Budget wise, we still know it's Hulk. 
We know a smart Hulk. We're not expecting him to go fighting nobody right now. We're not really looking for the big extra swole Hulk right now. He's intelligent Hulk, right? right, right. right but Professor to see Hulk. that level and then not to give her any muscle definition, like I feel like they they brought Hulk down, so they had to bring her down almost. So I got Does that make that. sense? Because if she looked more muscular, she would almost look the exact same as this Hulk. Yeah, I got a question though. Yeah. You say budget wise, like, do you know the budget per episode of She Hulk? Mm. No, I don't. But I don't, do you want, but I you want to tell you? Do you want me go to go for it? You? Yeah, if you got it. So y'all know the movie. Um, what was it called? Anytime, anywhere, something. I forgot. Movie just came out. It's like they were like, "This is the best multi." Um, mo- oh, I heard about movie. it, but I, I forgot it. the name I of seen it. it. Yeah. So that movie budget for that whole movie. Was twenty five mil, right? But twenty five two fifty. It's the same budget as one episode of Sea Hulk. Ooh. Mm. That one movie has the same budget as Sea Hulk because somebody right, said no two hundred and twenty mil. Yes, yeah, Sea Hulk episodes are twenty five mil a piece. So there's nine episodes because they cut yes. one out, which is another thing. They cut an episode out of it. Uh, it was ten episodes originally. Now it's only nine. Based on the final cut, so what? Nine times twenty-five is what? Two hundred and twenty-five mil. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's a whole the season. Movie. That's a whole movie. That's a whole Avengers movie budget, then. Yeah. So that's that is an Avengers movie budget for the whole season, but that's for the whole season. The yeah, Avengers had the how theme. many heroes, and how many villains, and how many side characters, mm. and how many worlds. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Right, and th- that's just Avengers, not in game. I'm just talking about the first the Avengers movie, right? You got Thor, Iron Man, uh, Hawkeye, Cap. which really wasn't much, okay. but Cap, Black Widow, and her stuff. But you have the entire enemy armada, the entire yeah. enemy armada. Hmm. You have Loki and everything that he does, you have the Tesseract and everything that happens with that, and you hear in here you have Hulk and Thor and uh and Hulk and She Hulk who move the exact same way. And you have abomination in here too, right? And that was the other part I was about to get to. So here I got some of those too. Give me just a second here. So if you didn't know, Emil Blonsky's back, which I was happy about. Let me get him pulled up here. Do, do, do. We got Emil playing Abomination. And we got Wong. Side note, for those who did not know, this is from Shang-Chi. So yes, Abomination and Wong were both in Shang-Chi. I didn't realize it was Abomination at first. You could only catch it if you saw it on closed caption. That's the only way right. you can. Right. That was, the, that was the only reason I caught that. And so looking at Abomination, first off, knowing the story of Abomination, knowing that he was in jail, mm-hmm. he was the one that... Uh, what was it? Fury wanted to release, but instead, instead, uh, was it Iron Man? Tony convinced him to release the Hulk instead, or like go after the Hulk instead of using Abomination uh, for the Avengers of initiative. Mm-hmm. So they end up using Hulk instead of Abomination. Abomination stayed in jail. He ends up later down the line being he's like the one of those anti heroes that gets used in different groupings of heroes. In the comic books, right, right. but how did Wong, in this sense of Marvel, because we don't know yet, how did Wong come across Abomination in a jail and become friends with him and decide to train him? Because he, Wong specifically says in the movie, "Yo, I thought I told you to pull your punches. We're gonna have to work on this." Right. Right, like he's looking at him like, bro, we we didn't have this conversation. Like, <laughs> no, this you know now seeing that abominations here, I'm speculating. I'm gonna do a little speculation here. There's probably a cat, a very CGI heavy character we haven't seen yet that's in here somewhere. There's gonna have to be, because abomination is he still Hulk like? You know what I mean? Right. So outside of them breaking buildings and stuff, which was not She Hulk's forte. She was more intellect. She mm-hmm. has a rage age, but she's more intellect. 
But what I got an okay, then I, I got an idea that maybe we haven't seen the muscular form, and maybe they're gonna use the muscular normal form as maybe as her rager form or her berserk form. Because remember, she yes, always she has more have. control. She does have a berserk no. form, right? It's true, she, that's true. She does so that have maybe more, something for later. That, that's I true. just thought of that just when we were talking about it, it just popped in my head. Okay, maybe okay. that's why we haven't seen that yet. Remember, uh, she used so I have a the rules. What if they introduce Red Hulk? I there is that. supposed to be some stuff about that. Red Hulk is supposed to be brought up at some point. I don't know if it's during this season, but there are stories like there's some stuff floating around that they're supposed to be bringing Red Hulk in. If they mess around and just bring back Agent of Smash, I would love it. If they bring back Agent of Smash, that's awesome. there's a whole lot they got to fix. You could probably do a live action Agent of Smash. You could probably do it. Probably oh, do it I'm now. sure they could. It would, it would not be difficult. It would not. But I'm thinking, hmm, okay, another CGI Hulk character. I know I brought it up last episode, but maybe we get Amadeus Cho Hulk as well. I'm with Amadeus, yo. I can Amadeus, see that. Amadeus Hulk would be on point. Because <laughs> think about it. I'm just thinking about this now. The we're talking is making me Scar. think. See, Scar too. I don't know if they'll ever bring Scar. I, yeah, no, I honestly nah. do not think they'll bring Scar just because of how they did Ragnarok. Oh yeah, that's true. They can't really bring Scar. There's no unless they do multiverse, where they use the multiverse version of what Thor Ragnarok was supposed to be, and give us Planet Hulk. Mm. That's entirely that's a possibility. There. And so that like that's why when people were talking about the whole uh, strange thing. I was like, they only did that to fix any mess up that they've ever put in the Marvel universe. Think yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. They can redo. We okay. First off, it, we all know the first X Men was trash. Let's just put it out there. <laughs> the first trilogy, yeah. The first trilogy of X Men was trash. That's like it was what we had, and we enjoyed it, and we appreciated it. That's right. It worked for but the time. But as far as storyline went, story it was, was garbage. Stupid. And <laughs> Sabretooth was dumb. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Like first off, you messed up one of the bombest villains ever on day one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Day one, so Toad was cool. I actually liked Toad. That was about the only character they got right, other than Wolverine, mm -hmm. Wolverine and Cyclops, and, and Cyclops. And Cyclops, Cyclops was a tool. I guess I Cyclops. Yeah, he was a tool, but you know, I didn't mind <laughs> Halle Berry Storm. You know, you're about to get deleted, right? I was about to kick I you off. I, said I didn't mind. Oh, okay, didn't mind. okay, okay. Well, Halle Berry. <laughs> Keyword <laughs> there. Keyword. Didn't mind. Okay, okay. I was about to say. <laughs> Do you know what happens when a straw gets struck by lightning? <laughs> really? Really, my guy? <laughs> you nah, didn't mind. Especially, especially what's going on with Storm now in the comics. Man, Ooh, like they're gonna have to knock that out the park. I, I was upset punch. because at that time, at that time when that came out, we could have had Angela Bassett as Storm. Anybody. <laughs> Bassett, don't Halle Berry and superheroes Bassett. just do not work. They do not. They do not. I mean, okay. Okay, I was okay with her in Catwoman. I was about to say, like, hold up. Yeah, she yeah. I, I have to Catwoman. say, I was okay with her as Catwoman. That was a, a good pick. I Although they could have got somebody better for it, but it was a good pick. So, Ooh, all right, it was cool. I didn't watch it. I didn't <laughs> it was watch more so like just, Halliburton it was her, it was watching home. Hallie in a cat suit, is all it really was. Listen, beyond right. yeah. 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 that's yeah. what the movie was. <laughs> you know, and I am not ashamed to say, I'm not ashamed to say that. that. Yeah. You know, for sure. For shame. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. Yeah, okay, we'll take that, Rod. But at least we was honest about ours. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, I didn't see it. So I didn't oh, see okay, it. fair enough, I fair enough. See, that's why you're saying that. Is it but true? this gives them the ability. Well, okay, think about it. They brought in X-Men 94 Xavier, right? Yep. We have Mutants First Class, that yes. version. We've got the original version of X-Men. We all know they screwed up all the ages in the original. Oh, yeah. Everybody was the wrong age, the wrong time setting, the whole nine. They have the ability to take the people that they had in first class and or the old one and rearrange everything in a whole nother universe and put everybody in the right age group in the right age bracket and the right time frame. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, the easy answer with the X-Men is just as that powers of X and House of X, just do that and call it a day. As simple as that. Just do just do the Hickman run and call it a day. I could see it. I mean, 
if they just do the brotherhood, that irons all of it out. If they do Magneto's Brotherhood, that'll iron it out. Yeah, bring point. Avalanche. That's what I'm saying. Like if you if you bring if you put the Brotherhood in, there's only certain characters that could fight with the Brotherhood the way they were at their peak. Which means you have to put everybody right where they need to be on the X Men side. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a lot the of Brotherhood X-Men. wasn't no joke. What was the uh, house? What was it? The house, the, the house of club. Oh, oh, Hellfire, Hellfire, Hellfire Club. Club. Yeah, bring that up, because technically that's what they alluded to at the end of um, was it Wolverine? When saber when they had the real saber tooth in there, as I call him, <laughs> uh, Donovan was his name. The the best saber tooth. Right, the only saber tooth. What do you mean best? That's the only saber tooth oh. I claim. <laughs> let's be real but yeah like they because they had they had emma frost in there right which would have led that could have led right into the hellfire club stuff so yeah that's a way to do x-men it's just oh yeah yeah there's a way to do it. i mean we got at least we got um x-men 97 coming out next year so we got that to look forward to true true but the honest thing with X Men, just adapt some of the more modern comic book storylines. I mean, I think that's what they're going to do with um, X Men ninety seven. They might do some of the more recent stuff up to the Hickman run. I think they're going to adapt from what I heard. So uh, that's something to look forward to X Men wise. But the X Men are on a whole nother level now, especially if you're keeping up with the comics now. I mean, Storm's oh yeah, no, that's pretty a whole much another situation, especially yeah. Storm being the Queen of Mars. I mean. Sh- so yeah. with 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 us being in the superhero superhero realm, y'all know about the DC movie finna come out, right? Uh, what DC Which movie? One? What DC movies? It's a, it's uh, animated. It's animated. Um. Oh, okay, those are pretty decent. Which one? Yeah, which one? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you which one. I'm gonna just tell you who's who's voice acting in the movie first. Okay. All right. You got Kevin Hart. No. You got the Rock. No, <laughs> no. Oh, you talking about like the Super Dog joint? Oh, the oh, you talking about the the cartoon the movie? Oh, okay, that one. That oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I do want to see. I'm not gonna I lie. Like I think that's gonna be good. Max. I'll wait for that on HBO Max. Max. I'll wait for that yeah. on HBO Max. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm. I, if you know me, you know I dislike Superman with a passion. But Crypto is my favorite I super animal. <laughs> I feel that. Damn, you know, I, like I can respect that. Crypto in the, I'm not in, mad in just at the it. trailers. In just I mean, the trailers, I love how they had crypto. I, I, I mean, like, they had that good crypto cartoon like in the early 2000s. That was pretty good. Crypto, the super. <laughs> that was pretty good, though. <laughs> but I didn't like how, I don't, the way they got it set up, I don't think that, I think crypto is actually the only super animal. And the other ones just somehow get powers the way it's looking because I don't think the other the other dog was bat hound. I don't think that's him. Nah, that's uh, not him. Yeah. Uh, DC messing up as usual, but what else is new? Um, I heard uh Loki re- Loki's coming back for a new season. So yep. Just that's so cool. y'all are aware. Loki will be coming mm-hmm. back for a new season. Um what we got Miss Marvel coming in like two weeks, I think. Two, yeah, three Ms. weeks. Miss Marvel is coming in two weeks. Um, what else? Daredevil is also yes. coming out with a new series. That's what I found out. Season um, four is going to continue from where the Netflix series left off. Yeah, kind of like yeah. a reboot continuation. That's cool. I'm fine with that. That means technically, that means if Daredevil is in canon now, that means all the other Marvel shows they had no choice. Yeah. They put them in the movie, so yeah, they got to run them now. They put them in uh, Spider Man. Yeah. Yep. yep. Hopefully, so, this means they can fix season two of Luke Cage because I still say that needs to be erased from the they're records. Not gonna I need... do that. They're not going to put money into that. I know. I, mm. So, that's a whole conversation that we still have to have that we have not had. We'll do that another day. Like, we'll have to actually figure out what day we want to do this one is black characters and the powers that they have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, got, we still got to get to that one. Yeah. We got to get to that one. Oh, you mean Although, there's a different power besides lightning that black people get? <laughs> that's so that power. conversation it's, there. Hold on, it's three. It's three that we always get. So it's either it's either lightning, 
invul- a, a form of invulnerability yeah. <laughs> or super strength. Right. Or so, spider powers. That right there. But he still has lightning and strength <laughs> for the spider. <laughs> um, that right there, I was talking with Kaori. That was one of the reasons I wanted to get Kaori on the show because she mm-hmm. knows a lot of her. She has a whole stream on black comic yes. characters. Right. Um, so, so they're on her TikTok and on her Instagram, and she just does a breakdown of the characters and what they do. It just goes through all black characters. So I do want to try to get her for that one. Um so she can kind of give us some more information on them. But yeah, that is one that we got to we got to talk about. Cuz between those 3, 90% of their abilities are that. Like But then I got to stop and think about it. How many superhero characters don't have strength or invulnerability to some degree? Green Lantern and John Stewart. Aren't they doing I'm sorry, but the I'm will sorry. the willpower of John Stewart is OP as hell, and you know it. <laughs> hey, technically, that I'm man right. has probably will powered five bulletproof vests under everything he wears. Let's just be a let's <laughs> keep it a hundred, bro. <laughs> hey, you he from the hood? He know what's up. <laughs> Wait a minute, what about Falcon? Falcon, no, yeah. I'll give you Falcon. I will give you Falcon because he has no powers at all. I mean, he's, he's, but he's man. an unpowered too. Oh, like I'm talking about people with abilities. Falcon's unpowered. Yeah, Falcon's just a broke Batman, to be honest. Right. Yeah. Broke black Batman. Got to got to say that. That's <laughs> like saying War Machine. He's just a guy in a suit. He ain't even make the suit. He ain't got the money for the suit. He just <laughs> rocks it. Yo, I got a question. Yo, since you said that now, if something <laughs> happened to his suit now, how is he gonna? Fix it. Fix the suit. It's military <laughs> property now. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They got the schematics. They have so they didn't make it. Jar- uh, Jarvis is still around though. Jarvis still runs the tower. Oh, oh. I thought that was and you still got the Iron Legion, so they can make they can do the repairs on the suit. We'll probably find that out whenever Armor Wars well, comes. Look, out. They can do repairs. They can't do updates. Not updates, no. And you definitely don't want to let what's his name update it because he failed miserably. <laughs> Man, don't forget Riri's coming soon, so maybe that'll fix a lot of those problems. Oh, yeah, Riri's that coming. will happen too. Never mind. We, right, Riri, Riri coming, question. she got it. Never mind. <laughs> Hold on. And you got Shuri too, so yeah. Right, Shuri, right. Shuri can oh, if Shuri touched the war machine power? thing, bruh. Think about that. If Shuri got her hands on the war machine fit. I won't be surprised if you did that. Vibranium and technology into the war machine. <laughs> That's what I was just oh. Yeah, she could do stuff with that for sure. We saw, look, we saw what she did with the Winter Soldier arm. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, go ahead, Rod. And I got, I got a segue from that one. Okay. No, I was just saying, no, I was just thinking, speaking, we talking about Wakanda. Everybody. Don't forget, we got the Dora Milaje book coming out pretty soon, too. That's I heard I'm about thinking. that. By the blur girl, all black women doing stuff with with Dormilaji. That's an excellent idea, Marvel. Good Ain't job, nothing man. wrong with it. Ain't nothing at all. So, so real quick, you talking about Bucky? Yeah. Y'all know who this is? Oh, I don't know who that I is. Hold on, my screen name. No, the White Panther, Bucky. Bucky. <laughs> no, it's not Bucky. Oh, it's I White Wolf. White Wolf. It's the original White Wolf. Is I was about to end that. What they call him? That is yep. what they call him. Yeah. White Wolf. They're 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 actually taking his name from him. They're changing Bucky. They're pulling him out of the out of the universe. White Wolf originally was T'Challa's brother, adopted brother, right? And his name was the White Wolf, right? So think about a Black Panther suit, but that, but, right? Oh, they might turn they might turn Shuri into that. Oh God, oh. No, nah, this was clearly his brother. It was like they. This is it. What would have happened? Probably if they put a uh, Killmonger in. Like, oh, I can see that. Right, something like that. But yeah, so I w- I was unaware of the character. I guess his name is Hunter, but uh, his from his dad's first wife, who had mm. passed. That well, was mm. the son. That's so a very deep comic cover. They could do that for Black Panther too. You just never know. Right, that's a whole nother thing that w- that could happen. 
Hey, so, auntie. Hey, auntie. Just so y'all know, that, that is a character that exists. <laughs> that, that is a black character that exists as well. Hey, auntie. Um, Oh, speaking of which, that line, hey, auntie, you know that was an ad lib? Ad lib. It was yeah. just, what is it? They talked about that so much. So it was like, um, after premiere, he, he was talking. He's like, I want to know if they kept some, kept some of my ad libs in there, some stuff mm -hmm. I just came up with. And after the movie, they interviewed him. He's like, I was so happy they kept the hey, auntie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That I mean, that one fit. That fit so well. <laughs> it worked. It was great. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Perfect. Definitely. Um, let's see here. Uh, while we're on Tony and the lack of thereof, don't remember. where are we at here? Where is it? Well, I had a picture, but I can't find it now. Uh, but they got uh John Stamos playing Tony Stark. In the Amazing Friends season two yeah. on Disney. Oh Disney. yeah, that's cute. That was a cute idea. And that so a... that was yeah, that was cool. That was real cool. Yeah, I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, he could've, he would have definitely probably been Iron Man in the eighties. I could definitely see that. If he was like, oh 80s. yeah, that would have been it's nah it's... nah. I don't I don't see him as Iron Man. He I, he wasn't cocky enough. Mm. I don't think he was cocky enough. Mm. It would have been something different, but I mean, who knows? Yeah, I could see him doing something, but I, I think he, I don't think he was cocky enough for that. Like you'd need somebody like Fonsworthy to be, you know what I mean, as far as the arrogance level to pull that off. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> okay. Phone trying to charge. No, you good. Right. Right. Um. Oh. Um. I know we didn't get around to it last time, Rod. But I know you had wanted to talk about this. Uh, oh yeah, common rider. The common riders. Rider. Yeah, oh, this is the visual for it. I guess it's supposed to be coming out. I believe this is August too. August. Yeah, this year. Yeah, this was probably one of the more popular common riders of the early two thousands. Common rider W, which is a very interesting premise. This was the first time two people were a common rider together. Ooh. So that's why it's called W. It's called it's double, but it's a pun on the word. I think in Japan, W is um W is what is it called? W is a pun. I think it's Japanese W is double. They pronounce it the same way, so it's kind of a pun on the word double. Oh, okay. Because even the song is like WBX, which is why I always remember the song in front of Bronx. But the premise of the show was it was the guy on the right was a detective. He ended up finding the guy on the um, show. I think his name was Shoto, actually, if I remember correctly. And the dude on the, and the guy on the left, his name is Philip. He had like this super crazy mind, and it would just use his mind to solve <coughs> various mysteries and things and find these different memory chips they had to find. Hey, Trill, the how's show. it going? Appreciate you swinging by. And they would, and they would just transform into Common Rider W. But it was mostly um, Shoto on the right that had the body. But they would use both mm -hmm. their memory chips to become W. So I'm doing gotcha. a W like this just for a reason. So it's usually like he would, Phil would be like Cyclone and Shoto would be Joker. So it would be like Cyclone, Joker, and W. Uh, yeah. It was very popular. It was very popular. It was one of my favorite Kamen Riders when I was watching Kamen Rider outside of um, Deno. That one's like a whole time travel story, so that one's kind of fun. But for this one, I didn't know they were making hey. an anime. I didn't know they were making an anime about this, so I found it randomly one, one day just looking up. I was looking up the intro for Kamen Rider W, and I came across this. I was like, oh, cool. Because the movie, because the way the show ended, they lost, it's continuing where the show left off. So they continue to be Kamen Rider W, just saving their Windy City. So, Wind City, I think it was what it was called. But let's just continue on the story. This was very popular, and Kamen Rider has been around for almost fifty years. This is the first time this yeah. franchise even. It's like Sentai. Me. It's like Super Sentai. It's been around for forever. Yeah, yeah, and the the fact that Kamen Rider of all things is getting an anime should tell you something. Yeah, like, that's that that goes to that conversation that we were having earlier about uh anime becoming more mainstream, and whether or not that's a good thing or not. 
Like, I think it's great that the medium is breaking the boundaries that it had before. I think that's a, that's wonderful. Uh, I think that people who like us who got uh, picked on and talked about because of it, you know, Ooh. the kids don't have to deal with that anymore right. as much because mm-hmm. everybody thinks it's acceptable now. And that, that's great. It's great. You know, they don't take away from the fact that, you know, I still want to go smack hey, some of these people in their mouth. Forget that. We, we but, had character development. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, yeah, it, that it, venom it, still ain't gone, but... <laughs> I mean, think about it this way. You probably have parents who watch Naruto that probably have their kids watch Boruto right now just because they watch it as a kid. Oh, yeah, kid. definitely. Or even definitely. Pokemon. Never. Digimon. Although, I got to throw this one out. Shout out to my moms. Like, I hated her for this sometime. I love my mother to death. Just so y'all know this. I hated her for this. Saturday morning. Remember the English Dragon Ball version? Mm-hmm. 7 a.m. when yeah. the song would come on. Dun, 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 dun. You know what I'm saying? Like, the song... Seven o'clock in the morning. My mom was up watching Dragon Ball. Hey. She would not wake us up. Oh, she. Oh, she if we happened to wake up, that. she was upstairs in the living room, music, TV blaring, on the couch watching Dragon Ball. I woke up early one day. She was up there. She's like, I was like, you didn't even call us, Mama. She was like, you know the rules. Not until the chores are done. You can't watch TV anyway. So why would I? I was like, you petty, Mama. You petty. petty. <laughs> that's a, she that's would a, watch a, Dragon Ball and One Piece. Yeah. She loved the English version of One Piece. For the intro, but she watched both of those Saturday mornings. Mm-hmm. So before she started doing her cleaning and cooking. Now, don't get me wrong, we would also wake up to fresh baked donuts and bread and biscuits and stuff like that. So oh, that's, you know, that's, that's not mad. Get, <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, to get you but, some taste me to come out the bed. <laughs> right. Yo, but uh one of my homies, me and Vocal's homies just popped in the chat. The one I yeah. told you about earlier. Mr. Oh, yeah, 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 trail. Yeah, so that's that trail. Yeah, yes, that's this that's is the other pole. one. Oh, <laughs> that's the top Yu Gi Oh player right there. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> you see, Jay's face, right? I'm not gonna <laughs> cap. I ain't play. Me and Trey have not crossed cars yet, and I don't think I want to. <laughs> I ain't at <laughs> that level smoke? yet. Look, that should tell you something, too, because Jay don't care about crossing nobody <laughs> when it comes to Yu Gi Oh. Okay, except me, but <laughs> yeah, except for Rod, true, true. Because <laughs> even Rod, he's starting to slow down on. No. Appreciate you joining us today, man. Appreciate it, Trev. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to get you on the show one day. Then we're gonna have to get you get you in here talking with us, chopping it up. I'm still working on my master master duel stuff. That's been fun. That's been very fun. Oh, hold up. While we on Yu Gi Oh, I know y'all probably about that, know about this. That band lease. That band list, oh, yeah, it was no, that bad. change your hearts card. Oh, yeah, that card. oh my god, that they so got bad. uh, they released. I guess they unbanned. I don't know the history, so y'all feel me and we'll okay. with this. Let me explain to you change your heart has been banned for years. Mm-hmm. When I say years, I mean almost as long as the game has been in TCG, like Damn. for a minute. So the fact that it is unbanned is kind of, I mean, is it unbanned or is it limited? I forgot exactly. Unbanned. It's, it's limited. It's, it's limited. It's, it's, I'm about to say if it's unbanned, that's ridiculous. So the reason why they banned Change of Heart because it was just a free card and it's lim- like if you play it, you just take their monster. The only way they get their monster back if you tribute it or if they destroyed it and put it back in their graveyard. Uh-huh. It has no negative effect. Love this card. So oh, right. Even it was you know funny. Because you can tell who how long people have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh when this card came off the band list. Because uh-huh. I'm in a group on um Master Duels on Xbox playing, and the guy's like, Why do they take that out the band list? That card is not good. I'm like, Ooh. bro, you get a free card. <laughs> how is it not good? Right. It's a free card. <laughs> no, I love when I'm playing Master Duels and I love playing Wabaku and I still love seeing people attack. I just makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, Wabaku like, is just a cheap good card. <laughs> <laughs> I have it in all my decks. He says it's always been limited to one. Okay. Yeah. Change your heart is busted if you know what you're doing with it. It is busted. Yeah, for those that yeah, like says target one monster, your car contr- your opponent controls, take control of it until the end of the phase. Yeah, yeah, that's if if somebody just merged four cards into one and you take control of it. Oh what? wait, that's a rotter. Did they rot it? Wait, what? Trez, I don't they know. You tell me. Because my change of heart don't say to the end of the phase. It just say take control of one person's monster. 
Mm. That might be a newer version of it, probably. That might be a newer version. He says it's not erotis. Not erotis. So is there a certain particular one that's a that's a Rodders version of it? No, if it's not a Rodders, it's not a Rodders. It's always still the end of the turn, end. he says. I don't remember you saying to the end of the turn. Nah, maybe that maybe just somebody just modified. I haven't, the text play, I haven't played Chain of Hearts in years anyway, so well, clearly no one has. <laughs> Platinum Master doing Battle Wasp. Okay, with Battle it. Wasps. Yeah, I'm almost there with Trilla. I'm like, I'm on gold two myself. I'm a gold two right now. I'm platinum on um, platinum five with zombie on um, DPE. I want to be a butthole. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gold two with the harpy ladies. Still working harpies. I'm, oh, I'm wow. gonna try to he hit um, an original, and it's till the end of the turn. Okay, that makes sense. Gotcha. Of gotcha. course, Trill has an original. <laughs> I, be worth a, I wonder if the he said, value. Of course, he has the original. <laughs> but I wonder yeah, if the value of the card. Shit. I wonder if the value of the card is going down since it's unbanned now. I wonder about that. It, well, it would go playable, up. It would have to go up because people can it, start using it. It's more it likely to go up if people start using it. Yeah. People start looking for it. Mm hmm. True, true, true. I got to get the platinum on, on Master Duels. I got to figure it out. <laughs> Still working. I mean, you got a better oh. chance now because all the players that was platinum in the previous season are now in diamond. <laughs> oh, the diamond? Oh, I didn't know it was a diamond. Yeah, they Jeez. last season they added on um, this pre this new season they added diamond on um, rank. Okay, okay, I see you. Fourth Ace. Of the deck called Sun Avalon this weekend. It's a new strategy. I was surprised because I literally never played the deck before yesterday. Wow! Wow! Congratulations, Ace. Congratulations. I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with zombies. I'm I'm finna get a box of the new uh, adventure stuff so I can uh, work on this zombie deck. Yeah, didn't they come out with something like a ghost pack or something? I think we had like a lot of throwback cards. uh, Ghost of Pass that came out, and then a few weeks later, it's dimensional or something. I'm gonna get actually get a box of that dimensional. But if anybody like just started back playing Yu Gi Oh, like me again in in real life, uh, Ghost of Pass is like a lot of the I say staple cards that you might need to get. If you just buy the right amount, yeah, that makes sense. That, I still have old cars that still my zombie deck is still viable. I just gotta add some new cars to it. Yeah, okay. I man, with the fusion festival, I've seen how much support guy the fierce knight got in black. Oh Soul my Day. god, that was actually I wanted to play that for the fusion festival, I just didn't get all the cards in time. Yeah, I got most, I got almost all, I got like one. I te- I'm kind of like testing since the, the, the festival's almost over. I got like one of the last um guy a uh, guy cards I was missing testing it out I'm doing okay but it's just like I keep running into destiny hero Phoenix enforcer I I just yeah. surrender if I see that card I just surrender you don't no. do that uh take cards that you can use with destiny Phoenix anything that can stop him in great I would say me I've been using of course I use zombie deck so anytime I have both doom King on the free I probably get rid of them um Grave digger trap hole stops him in the grave. Um, okay, I gotta look that card up. I don't think I have that on Master Duels. I gotta look that one up. I don't think it's that much either. I think it's like a rare, if I'm not mistaken. I can look and tell you after this because I thought about trying to get it, get Monster Reborn, and then grab it myself and then just keep it on the field on my side. But I know it's, it's, too, like it's it. too fast for Monster Reborn. So, mm. since we're talking about card games. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I forgot they got I had to throw this out there. The One Piece card game is coming oh, out man. this year. Yes, There's sir. no sound, so don't worry about it. You're not missing anything. There is sound on the YouTube. I'm just playing it so y'all can see it while we're talking. But uh, I'm I'm so, so ready for this. Yes, sir. I, I can't, I can't wait. July 22nd uh, this year in Japan, I think August or September here in America, something like that. See, yeah, it was before, I was hoping that you was gonna say like June or I mean not June, um August. So we had ch- chance to like actually get the cards and play mm-hmm. when we get together for Dragon Con. So true. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be out by the time we get to Dragon Con though. Nah, it's gonna be after. Probably not. But yeah, I I just want to see the card options. I just want to see all I the card options. Cool. Like yeah, like, because how how is it gonna play? Is it gonna play like Magic, they, they, Yu-Gi-Oh? Right, it's gonna be like Magic. It's gonna be like Yu-Gi-Oh. Gonna be Yu-Gi-Oh. We don't know yet. Play. Uh, but these are the four. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this real quick. So you got the Animal Kingdom Pirates, the Seven Warlords, the Worst Generation, and the Straw Hat Crew. 
Like those are the deck sets that are they're coming with automatically. Uh, oh. for starters. So Trill said he just started playing my hero card game, and we'll be playing One Piece on his channel. Okay. Dragon Con okay. is the Atlanta um the Atlanta um the biggest Atlanta con that comes every year Labor Day weekend. Yeah, it's Labor Day weekend, first week of September. Yep. We will all be there. You know, I stay in Atlanta, and so technically vocab do too. Technically, I do. Yeah. Yeah, ain't so, Momo, yeah, ain't Momocon are, like um, next weekend? Ain't Momocon next yep, weekend? Yeah, Momocon is There's next also weekend. also the Romance Dawn out. booster pack that's coming out, which you already know Romance Dawn, that whole little scenario is craziness. 12 cards per pack. Uh, The red film pack. Ooh, so the people that were in out. red are going to be on that deck. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm I just... Mm, I want... I want, I want, you, so I want to know for winter. So I want to know if it's gonna be like character based or is it gonna like is it character based or gonna be more like Pokemon? Oh, that, Pokemon like I said, I don't so know. Annoying. I think they had something in here. Let's see. So these, this is just an I. I'm, I'm gonna pause this for y'all real quick. So that's the front of one of the cards. Mm. Stabo. Oh, bet that's what's up. No, I don't Might know like if they show the back of it or not. No, but there is law. Yeah, it's your fault. You already know. <laughs> There's Zoro. Oh, that's kind of clean. Right. Hey, if I could do it, yes, your fault. Sir, my Zorro. guy, right there. If I could do so, it, your fault. Zoro, um, Dick, that shit would be fire. Oh yeah, I remember it, but I didn't have it. I don't know. Looking Hold at the cards, or... do any of y'all remember the original One Piece card game that came out? I don't actually. No, nope, I was. I, I remember the original no. card game. They um when it came out, we was at Books of Millions playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and they tried to give us <laughs> one piece cards because the guy who was there, because I was we was doing like little tournaments with uh -huh. kids. The guy that was there got the one piece and all the cards mixed up. Oh wow. Yo, dual, dual masters. masters. I wanted dual masters to turn up. I wanted to play dual that masters. Was cool anime. Oh, I wanted to play dual masters. Cool man, man. But you know what? I bet if anybody has those cards, now that the new game's coming out, bet money they be worth something. More than likely. Like you know what I mean? Like nobody was buying the cards. Nobody was buying them. We yeah, all playing. Got them, then. Like they were just trying to give the cards away. Mm. So, so there's that. Uh, also, in some One Piece news, while we're in here, the One Piece Odyssey game. So mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all saw One Piece World uh, or played One Piece World. I that was like one bit. of the first open world ones. Yeah. Um, which I thought it was really good for the first one that they did as it. Uh, they opened up. One Piece Pirate Warrior 4 finally, which was dope. Uh, there was another one that came out right after that. I forget the name of it. I have it and I forgot it. I forget. No, the sunny thinking. However, this is supposed to be the first really full, like Elder Scrolls open world type One Piece thing. Okay. So just to give you guys an idea of this is kind of what it's gonna supposed to look like and some of the gameplay for it. Oh yeah, I gotta finish part one before I can jump into this. I think y'all told me that. Mm. If you play, if you have Pirate Warriors, uh, three, I think it goes from the beginning of One Piece up to. Where? I forget where. Almost, almost. I know it goes through Marine Ford. I think it stops right after Marine Ford. Okay. In One Piece, Pirate Warriors 3. Pirate Warriors 4 starts in Alabasta and goes up to Kaido in Wano. Mm. Oh, dang. So if oh, you play Pirate Warriors Wano 3 already? and wow. 4, huh? I, like, I didn't think they had any games going into Wano just yet. Yeah, Pirate Warriors 4, because you got they go up to the fight with uh Kaido and Big Mom. It doesn't go, it doesn't catch up to the anime yet, but it's at least it's close to like when they get to Wano. It's right in there. Oh, uh, kind of like when Ninja Storm 3 and 40. I think Ninja Storm 3 ended right at the start of... They fight in Kaido and Big Mom, right? Big Mom. Now. Yeah, because right you start off you start off Pirate Warrior 4 fighting Kaido and Big Mom. And then it backtracks like a memory flashback to Alabasta. Mm. So, and works it all the way back up to it. 
That's so, a lot of coverage, bro. In one game, right. From Alabama right. all the way to Wano, that's yeah. like – But cool. I think they cut – they're cut through. I'm still playing it right now. I just started uh, Did playing they skip it. Scott Peel like majority of the One Piece fans? I don't. That's great. I'm joking. Why does everybody want to skip their arc? Kind of pause on I that? don't know. I really don't. Why do people skip the Skype your arc? There's so much know. lore. What? In that arc. It's ridiculous. Why are Skype here, bro? That's where you see my fruit. <laughs> First off, yes. That's where Eminem is in anime. That's First. Where you meet, <laughs> yes. So that's where you understand why Usopp fought Luffy. Yeah, you understand what happened with the going Mary and why the Mary died. There's a lot of stuff. Like, there, yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, want to skip, so skip halfway through Cake Island arc because it's like 170 episodes in that. You could episodes. almost you could almost skip most of those if you wanted to. Yeah, that's like if you wanted to. You're still gonna miss a lot. You are gonna miss stuff. You are gonna miss a whole lot. If still, you're gonna but. be one to skip. That's the one. And don't skip I wouldn't even say that because that's Jerma. Yeah, I said don't skip the whole thing, See? but it's a long. That arc is the longest arc, bro. That's just, uh, I was I, I was know, still feeling like hundred and like fifty episodes. So I, y'all know where I stand. There's no such thing as filler. It's just lore. So yep. y'all know where I stand. <laughs> you know where you stand. If you, really, if if you, you, I said if you go. I understand what you're saying. You said if you did say it. He did. He did preface with the if the quote unquote if. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not knocking it, but yeah. Um oh and then there's a gym. There's a one piece gym being opened. Oh in Japan. I heard about that. I heard about that. I don't have there's no pictures or anything yet. Trust me, I looked. <laughs> but there's supposed to be a one piece gym that's I'm devoted that. to like some of the training I'm... regiments of the characters in one piece. I'm so tell yes. me right now. I mean because we see training is Zoro. Y'all need to save up. Yeah, but like Luffy trained. Luffy did train. We just don't see it. Okay. We saw Luffy train and speak on training one time. Nah. -uh. No. Really? Which one are you talking Rayleigh. about? Rayleigh. You talking yeah. about the time time skip part, right? But when think the, about it. He trained with Sabo and Ace at the whole beginning. Yeah. But we didn't get to see that. We just didn't see it. Nah, we, we know he was okay. training. Okay, that's what okay. he raised no bomb. Technically, that was prequel. Cool. Okay, when else did he train? Uh, during the, the before time. who else? Who who was every time he got his ass beat, he went back and he went back and came back stronger. AKA train. He came back stronger. <laughs> I'm not saying we saw him train. I'm saying we know he did. We, we know did Zoro see a little bit of his training with Raleigh, though. We didn't get to see some of that when he was fighting all the animals on the on the yeah. uh. Which side he, note? He was fighting. He was fighting some shit. What he fought? I'm trying to remember the animals he fought on that on that uh, island. There was the, there was a there gorilla? Was the monkey, the there right, the bear. gorilla, the snake, the tiger. There was a bear, a bear, and I believe the last joint was the elephant. Yeah, the elephant. I elephant. Like elephant. So we all know perfect. so far from what we've been watching, everything has to do with one of those animals that he practiced with. That's that. Yeah, elephant gun. Yeah, right. Yeah. Elephant gun, mamba. We don't know Snake what man. else left, but there's three other animals that he practiced with. Right, there's some gorilla shit. Yeah. There's Snake man. Snake well, I figured too. Kong gun. Yeah, King Kong. Kong, Kong. Kong. Yeah. yeah, the Kong gun. It was the Kong yeah. gun and the Snake man. Those are the, the monkey and that. They still got the elephant because he had he's been using elephant for forever. Yeah, um, the elephant gun uh, for forever. He's a lion too. The lion and the, the lion. yeah. First one for me fought, or the gorilla was the first one. I can't remember which one it was. But, but remember, he ends up taming the lion, and the lion like follows him around and shit. Yeah. He hasn't um, used the lion joint yet. He ain't yeah, nothing like that. Oh, other thing. While I'm on showing y'all stuff, and so we can go just get this one out the way real quick. Final flash. My god, Vegeta. <laughs> that wasn't it. The hundred year, uh, thousand year blood arc. Oh, yeah. Oh, Releasing in October. Bleach. Releasing in October. Very, very so. underrated the monster on anime community. I don't know why. Yeah, it because makes people no don't want to believe in the big three. It's it's right. It's 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 one of those. Fella killed it. Simple as that. Bottom line. So remember we were talking about first off, that scene right there was clean as heck. 
I'm just saying, like, my boy came back with everything. I always thought with uh, One Piece, the person that was underused was Chad. Wait, did you I think, think I, I think I, you meant Blue Chad? You said One Piece. Oh, Eight sorry, four. Bleach. Who knows yeah. what you mean? I wasn't gonna embarrass you like my bad. I hey, look, I already <laughs> told them. You see the title? When you tired, you us. Y'all saw the title. <laughs> I'm out of here right now. Shoot. But uh my- yeah, trails and facts. But yeah, Chad, like his abilities, they we didn't get to see him enough personally. Yeah, that's facts. And like they didn't give him his demon arm until what three quarters of the way through, and you saw yeah. it twice. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You know, there's a lot of seasons to like not right. use somebody to not use. You yeah. give him you gave him one arm three season in. Yep. And then you gave him the other arm like seven seasons later. <laughs> like yeah. you saw it twice with no follow up. Exactly. Twice with no follow up. I mean, like I mean and, and then he got his little shine, and I don't feel like that was enough. None. You get yeah. that man Thank when you. the man punched the dude for the first time with that white arm, he said boom, the whole skull imprint, the size of a, a oh. skyscraper on the back of the wall behind the guy. Right. <laughs> like <laughs> It's called the arm of death for a reason, and y'all just go okay. We're gonna let him see it once, and all right, right that's it. It's like, hey, I just want you to know that he can do he this. He can do this, right? <laughs> you don't need to see it no more, though. Like, what the heck? Like, hey, pull up yeah. a picture of my guy for, for the for the for the viewers. Harder, which one are you talking about? They know who to, uh, uh, pull up a picture. Oh, Chad. Yeah. The, the right, let me see if I can find one Chad, in, uh, Japan, in Japan. Chad. They really named an anime character hey. Chad. <laughs> so hey, I, never, I never got four of them. Don't blame me. Thanks. Hey, really appreciate the, the, Hold the up. Here we go. And this, we didn't even get this. Aspect in, in Bleach. Wait a minute. And we didn't even get this four version of him. True. Oh, uh, yeah. We, like the full, the full, this whole rib cage and stuff. The, the helmet on his head, we saw none of that. He had one arm, and it wasn't even this buff, right? right? And we saw mm-hmm. the other arm that looked like this. That was it. Man's punches personified death, and we get no encore. Thank Legit. you, my guy. Legit, Thank though. you. <laughs> Legit, like, hold on, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what it, what was, what was his, uh, what was the name of them? Because they the names the names went hard. He had no special power except for strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was the name of the, the sis? Another black character that has strength. Yeah. Oh, and then they gave him his full <laughs> ring. Right. What was her name? And he was black and Latina. Latina. Right. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely so. But yeah, oh, and man. a professional boxer, Paul. Yes. Like <laughs> that's why his punches personify death. <laughs> Where we at? That high energy. Yeah, because the boy was sitting there, like beams fall on his head, and didn't care. Here we go, Brazo. I'm not. I'm uh, the right arm of the giant is what it's called. Mm. And then the left arm is no, nah, I think it was something else. Where is it? There it is. Left arm of the devil. Yeah, left arm. I remember that one. Right arm of the giant and left arm of the devil. Complete defense and complete offense. Yep. He said, <laughs> he said, my man was the epitome of catch these hands. <laughs> Thanks, though, bro. His name could have been better. Find out. Yeah, like, he really was, though. So. His name could have been better. It, it could have been. It could have been. I, I'll give him that. No, should have been. Should have been. This Thanks. is the image, though. This is all we saw of it. That's the you most, saw that yeah. the last picture I showed you with the bull horns and everything? That's the final. All we caught was this part. Right. I don't like, think that's the final. That's not the final. I, I think it, I, no, I'm talking about the, one you, the other one you showed. I feel like it could be more than that. Right, right, exactly. But I mean, we didn't even get to see that part unless you knew that, unless you watched the uh, what read the manga, you know what I mean? We didn't even know that part, mm. so okay. 
Yeah, all bad. All bad. Um, I'm trying to get through everything that we had before from before the last shows that we, we may have missed. I do want... <laughs> so, this was just funny. Kim K was dressed up as Kazama's leg one day. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Those of you who play Tekken, y'all understand. <laughs> if you're a Tekken fan, you understand. <laughs> Uh, kind of look like a reject Bam Bam Bigelow, honestly. Right. <laughs> wow. That is comedy. That's crazy. No, really. Sorry, I've been watching Young Rock. Yeah, I, I messed it, it, it up. <laughs> um, I do want to talk about, because I don't know if we ever got around to it, that Square Enix buyout that happened. Oh, um, yeah. Where they sold off, well, not, they sold off Tomb Raider, Dusex and Thief. Um, let me get pull that information back up here real quick. It was they're going all in on Final Fantasy. I mean, Kingdom Hearts is done, so I guess yeah, they, they sold it to Embr- well, they sold it to Embracer Group, who owns like Gearbox and THQ. Mm-hmm. Gearbox is Borderlands, like you know what I mean. THQ Nordic, they got a couple under their hand too. So why they decided to do that? I don't know. I think they lost a lot of money in NFT from what I heard. I think Square Enix from what I heard. I mean, I guess. I mean, I think personally, I think it's because Disney bought Disney, Disney got everything else. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts was their bread and butter. Right. And so if Disney's like, yeah, nah, we're going to need that fam. You know, let me get that about you. Right. <laughs> or you, you, we, we up in the cut that we taking. Which I can easily see Disney doing. Disney out here, Debo, Debo, and Cat. Debo, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's that. Um, and it was something else we were supposed to talk about real quick. I forgot. I was thinking about it. You brought up bleach, and I forgot just that quick. Oh, oh well. While you think about it, I'm gonna throw this out there. These are for my D and D people. Uh, if you like Studio Ghibli. And you like D and D? They are doing a Studio Ghibli inspired uh, D and D storyline. Nope. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I think that's supposed. Let me pull it back up here. That sounds fun. Right? That's a cool idea. Good for them. Yeah. Let, me do, let me do a Spirit Away uh, storyline. I think it's already out. Oh, it's called Find Find the Eyes Unclouded. It's a digital adventure. Uh, it's in the Dungeon Masters Guild. It's 20 bucks currently. Uh, so you can find, yeah, they, it's already out. Like I said, Eyes Unclouded. Excuse me, is what the what the game is called. And you can just, you get the game. For those who don't know, when you play D&D, you can either, as the Dungeon Master or the person who runs the campaign, or is basically telling, telling the story, or keeping, trying to tell the story, while your players get to mess it up in whatever fashion they decide to. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you see you see those faces, those smiles and nods. Yeah. So, uh, but basically, there are plenty of preset general storylines to where you don't have to worry about trying to come up with every little thing, NPCs mm-hmm. and all of that. So there's plenty of already preset lore around Dungeons and Dragons, uh, and this is just an additional piece that was created via Studio Ghibli based on their stories that goes with the D and D lore now. So. That's kind of how that works. And yes, um, Disney did get Daredevil. Yep, and Disney did get Daredevil. Yep. yep we were yep, just yep. talking about it. I think that right before you popped in, man. Literally, literally right before you popped in. Um. So, oh, there's one other, and I don't know if I got the picture here or not, but Rob Life, Leif, I can't remember his name. It's Leif for Life. Oh, uh, right he's doing a neat. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles spinoff mm. for Foot Clan. I know we had talked about that for a second or two. You uh, talking my vocab clan with all the purple on? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. you mm-hmm. already know what's up, Donnie all day. Team Amato <laughs> clan. <laughs> we will be doing when we get the uh, when we all get the Kawabunga collection. We will be doing a live stream of that. Uh, so keep an eye out for for that. And we Shredder's Revenge. A, <laughs> and Shredder's Revenge. Run. And Shredder's Revenge. Right. Raft the goat. Uh, I can feel that. 
Don't get me wrong. Every I turtle has it. their benefits. They're all the goat in their own in their own right. But it's just Donnie, like Donnie, that guy. Me and bro. vocab, me and me and vocab <laughs> fight over this all the time. Like I'm Donnie till I die. Like I can't, I can't help it. You can't but go wrong with a bow staff, bro. I lean, I lean towards Leo when I when I'm not doing Donnie. So I understand. I'm just uh, a good one. I don't mind being that, Mikey. Bro. That's because you are the Mikey of the group. Let's just be honest. <laughs> I'm the youngest. I mean, he is, he's right. He's now, the last now, one. now, this he is what I, people never before. understand. And if you've if you've read Lost Run, Last Ronin, you will you will get what why what I said was so important. <laughs> All right, go that, ahead. that's why I was being quiet. I almost said yep. one of the last wrong rows. I was being quiet. <laughs> yep. I, yeah. I was like, Jay, Jay, I call Jay. Mikey for more than one reason. And if you know the last Ronin, oh, you will understand yeah. why. I'm finna read it. I'm, I gotta read it now. I wanna know. Oh, it's a it's a it's a work of art. It's, it's mm. I believe it. I believe Immaculately it. I, I've been watching, I've been I've been keeping up with the comic videos of that. Oh man. Immaculately <laughs> done, man. I say this. I kind of wish they still had the 90s turtle suits because I can see a live action live Ronin with that set of turtles, True. but True. alas. <laughs> We don't have that, alas. Really true. So, and just so y'all know, the person who I was talking about that's redoing or trying to come up with a, a comic book about the Foot Clan is the man who wrote Deadpool originally. So I'm going to need y'all to keep that in mind when I said, Rob is doing this. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're yeah. coming out with a lot. Ninja Turtles I feel, is I just feel, I feel attacked because I'm young. I feel attacked. Nah, you should nah. feel attacked because you're being attacked. Oh, you didn't see what Trey said? <laughs> I said yeah, that when he wrote it. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I feel attacked. You should feel attacked. We are attacking you. It, it ain't my fault. My mom and daddy got busy late. Did y'all see or have y'all seen on Netflix the uh, Usagi show? Oh, no. I, no. I forgot about that. There's Thank an Usagi you for me. Um, cartoon, 3D cartoon. Y'all remember the, the rabbit? Ninja yes. Rabbit from Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Yeah. It's him. They it just is, didn't it link it to the Ninja that. Turtles. Are you serious? Dead serious. I think I heard it's that. his whole little world. I gotta watch it now. It's like that, but, you know, um, that 3D graphic they did for the last Turtles yeah. cartoon? Yeah. It's that. Oh, that's not bad. That's not yeah. bad. They, they, they don't look half bad. Oh, they did the 2012 style. They used that CGI. Yeah. That was not bad CGI. Not at all. Yeah, he that's did, what they, yeah, that's they, what they, they, they added a little bit more of the new stuff to it, but yeah. They've confirmed Breaker of Ragnarok season two. Okay. Finally, finally. Did they say who's fighting? Well, we know the first fight is gonna be um Hercules and Jack the Ripper. Well, and right, I know fight. that, but did they say anybody you else? Know, uh, uh, they just confirmed it. We ain't got okay. nothing okay. yet. We just, they just confirmed. Wait, it. I'm gonna Jack need Jack to go and hand, hand Hercules. Is, Jack the Ripper, is, Jack yeah. the Ripper versus Hercules. I'm 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 voting That's for Jack. Walk. Yeah, I want I'm, Jack to win. Jack. I want Jack to win. And yeah. the fact that they're fighting um in a in um, London, yeah, yeah, in a London um uh, lookalike, yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, Jack gotta win that. Yeah, he got to. <laughs> and like a dog. Dog. Look, cause they they did Jack Adam day. so dirty, bro. They did <laughs> Adam. Oh my god, they, like, they did Adam so so dirty. Yo, I was mad. He had that fight. He had yeah. that fight. Had it been anybody else, dude would have been dead. Because he, he was supposed to fight Shiva. Him, That's facts. With all his arms. Think about okay, think about how he went hand to hand with Zeus and how fast his hands was moving. If Shiva had been the one boxing him, yeah. think about how much faster Adam would have got. Like he would have dog walked Shiva. <laughs> hey, can, can we just agree that Adam has the, the ultimate KK game? Like, <laughs> the, the ultimate Ocular Jutsu. <laughs> like that I won't I don't want the shine. <laughs> I want that. Like, what does it do? I mean, I'm thinking of um, basically like a whole nother level of shine. He was kind basically, of basically if I see it once, doing. whether you hit me with it or not, I can now do it and right. keep it at oh. the same energy level that you can do it. Legit. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, basically, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna yeah. put it in you to your form. Basically, he played copycat. <laughs> Oh damn! Okay, I was thinking about basically. Um, I was thinking about somebody in Boruto, but it sounds like nah. he's even more busted. I'm thinking, yeah, about, you gotta watch. Yeah, you gotta watch Record of Dragon Rock. Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. Wild, it's worth it. It is so good. I I didn't like the first fight. I ain't gonna lie. I thought the first fight was lame. 
Who was the first fight again? Thor and um the one Thor, oh movie. yeah, Thor and uh Lubu. No, yeah, Lubu. first off, I think it was Lubu. Lubu is OP. Like his what you have to know you? Lubu's lore. Like Lubu is he right. is that goat among goats when it comes to fighting. Like, and especially if you've ever played Dynasty Warriors, you know, you know, like I know. <laughs> Yes, exactly. It, it didn't end yeah. how we wanted it yeah. at all. Exactly. Completely. It was not a bad fight. No, I didn't like it. Of course, you didn't like it. Dynasty Warriors, right? Trail, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. Not bite was having an issue with the with the uh the caps. I actually got to switch my bots up here with some of the yeah. stuff, but I got, I'll get that worked out soon. But yeah, Dynasty Warriors is is that game. Uh, uh, oh, there is side note. If you like Dynasty Warriors on Netflix right now, there is a Dynasty Warriors live action that's actually legit. Is it legit? It's a newer, yeah, it's a newer, it's a newer show, but it's actually legit. If you watch, if you know uh <laughs> Dynasty Warriors, it's it's pretty good. You gotta like you gotta like subbed movies though. Um, yeah, you gotta I like sub movies. Sub, bro. <laughs> I, I know, I know. That, that, was, for else. that was for everybody else. That was for everybody else. Never mind. I gotta think. I gotta watch the live action Kenshin. I feel attacked. Like, yeah. You feel attacked in your heart. I, <laughs> I, I watch English movies in sub, bro. So everything in sub because subs is better than dubs. Uh, that's the topic for another day. Direct attack. I'm Good looking at direct people. attack. I'm, I'm looking right people. at you when I say. Hold on, hold on. So this is this when you say. This when you say. The words and actions of Sir Vocab are not the words and actions related by the rest of this channel. <laughs> you gotta switch the voice up for it. <laughs> Put on the PSA voice. Everybody feels this way. No, no, we don't. Oh man, no, you don't. <laughs> no, no, it's a lot of us that don't. Um. Oh, Rod, you had yep. some stuff you wanted to talk about. If I'm not mistaken, regarding Sasha. Oh yeah, I didn't. I know y'all be following this story because this yeah, is kind of. Yeah. Okay, Sasha Banks and I am that were the uh, women WWE um, tag team title. Um, last Monday night on Monday Night Raw, they walked out because they didn't like the storyline that, that the creative writers wanted to do with them. They wanted, I think they wanted to split them up, and then then something came out about Ronda Rousey getting a main event line at WrestleMania. Should have went to yeah. <laughs> Sasha Banks, which I kind of understand. I, I don't know why they keep promoting Ronda Rousey, but. Um, I just been, and it's just funny how these like black women are just being just marginalized. I mean, WWE always marginalized black women talent, anyway. Even even back in the day when we used to watch, and, and I, I haven't watched faithfully in like fifteen years. But it's just sad. Cause it seems like it seems like these girls have been doing positive things from what I've seen. Like I said, I, I don't follow. Yeah, this Boston. was actually Sasha uh, at a school that uh, she had went to go visit. Which is one of the things I had wanted to talk about uh, before, like a week before. Um, I forgot to bring it up, but yeah, this is you're talking about positive stuff she was doing. She did like a school drive, I think, and kind of so went to go visit a couple of middle schools and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, she's a cool so, person, bro. I know her. She lives so, out here in Orlando. Okay. Yeah, she's a, she's a dope individual. Oh, and Trell, appreciate the follow, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you so so much. But okay, a little bit of um history. This is the first time that a, a wrestler, a superstar, has walked out, and it's been this big. We've had it multiple times. Right. In the Attitude Area, Stone Cold walked out. Oh, constantly. Yep. He walked out. No, no. Listen, he's only walked out once, but that was when Brock was coming in. That's why we never had the Brock Stone Cold thing. He walked out. We didn't hear. We didn't hear nothing really about it. Even though, you know, before how big the internet was, but still, fact of the matter, we didn't hear nothing about it. We've had other wrestlers walk out, and we really didn't hear nothing about it as big as, big as they're doing. Sasha yeah, Jake Graham. Appreciate you swinging in. Yeah, talking about uh, Sasha walking out. Yeah, yeah. Pre what's up, kid? Yeah, um, I just I just think it's messed up because it seems like they always doing positive things, especially yeah. Sasha Banks. It seems like she's been doing a lot of positive stuff, and I just feel mm -hmm. like they're just wasting like you gonna let a talent or someone of that nature just walk walk out because you don't want to like work with her or you know I, like I said, I know what's going on behind the scenes or what with the creative writers and everything. I don't know. She just seemed like a really nice person for 
I'm just going by, you know, what I've seen on social media and everything. And like they scrubbed all their merchandise. You can't even search their names on the WWE website anymore. So they took them off the entrance to the show. Yep. I heard that too. Wow. So, kid, what happened was last week on Raw, two wrestlers walked off live. Like they was, um, they were supposed to have a match and the match was going to separate them from a time being. But they didn't want to do that because, like, we just got the titles and now y'all want to separate us and then bring us back together. When, if you're in that field of work, having the title is like you're supposed to be the best at that, right? right. You're supposed to defend your title. But when you're not defending Hold on, your real title, quick. Are y'all seeing, hearing that? What? With the pop? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. Is it on my end? I don't know who's in this on. It might have been mine, but my battery going low. Let me put my charger. No, in. no, no you good, you good. I'll, I'll let you know no, if I hear it again. Sorry, it just kept going. I was like, "What is that?" Not yet. Yeah, I probably I got my headset on. No, no, you. But I'm on my phone this time. But um, rest. I think it like, is. Even you, though, Jay. yeah, I think because every time you talk is is when it it started doing it again. Yeah. You having issues today? It's feedback. Y'all know it is us. Yeah. <laughs> Right, uh, it gotta be something. It's always gonna be something. It's always something. How's that? It's probably saying we need to wrap up because we had an hour and twenty minutes. We was like, we'll keep this to an hour. Right. We, yeah. We, Go well, ahead. I speak on the list, but just it's just a lot of stuff happened, and if I feel like they're directing at this because these are black women. Yeah. Like when other stuff happened, it, it didn't hit this big, but these are black women and they're doing they're doing the most. Like they actually came out with a statement on this. That's never happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not West versed on the wrestling world, so I'll leave that commentary to y'all. Yeah. Um, as Jay. Yeah. That's yeah. that's Jay and Rod's area. I shorty because she lived here. Yeah, we can definitely bring we can definitely break break some more of that down later too. Um all right, we're gonna do one last thing because we did say we're gonna keep today short because some of us need sleep. <laughs> um so I want to do one last one last fun thing. Is it fun? Is it really uh, fun? It might be, who knows? All right, this one. Oh, I remember this. So, if you're in the Dragon Ball universe, you have to be one of these four people. Is there? Is it really a? Is this really a question, though? Who would you be? Who and else would why? Hercule, because I never die. <laughs> you know what? That's I got money. Technically, that. technically, that. Krillin, because you'll never die. If that's the reasoning, Krillin dies. Yes, and but who's your best friend? But who's your best friend? He ain't gonna let you die. <laughs> no, 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 no. Krillin dies multiple times. True, but he keep coming yeah, he back, back every time. <laughs> Hercule, if Hercule dies, who gonna bring him back? Let's be honest. He's not bringing him back, bro. Who bringing Hercule back? He's not bringing you back. Nobody. I don't Gohan. care. Gohan. Okay, now we can't hear you. Hey, Tia, they need the money. Oh, you're talking about Pan. Okay, only because his granddaughter might want to bring him back. Other, If she was not there and okay. Videl wasn't in the picture, Hercule exactly. could have been ghosted every time, so bro. many times. <laughs> I was literally, if you'd have popped up and was like, yo, you, you the question was, <laughs> if we were to the Dragon Ball first, who would we be? I That's true. I would have to worry about me if I was Hercule. What would I have to worry about? I mean, me? he's okay. Let you want to really be honest. If you want me to be honest with that question, Hercule. Hercule. The only reason Hercule would have to fear is because everyone thinks he's what he says he is. Wait, that is Hercule's I got fear. For that. I got an argument for that. Take away all the Z fighters. How do we know that Hercule is not a, the strongest? Non the song is non-powered human. It doesn't matter if he is that or not. Krillin is because everything coming to the planet has powers. Oh, wait a minute. 
the and question got I gotta I wanna play devil's advocate with oh, the yeah. question though. Because I said you can live in a Dragon World universe, but can be one of these any characters. It you gotta be one of those four. One of these characters. If you go into that universe, do you have your knowledge of the Dragon Ball universe going into the universe? There's a particular reason I'm asking this question. Ooh. That's okay, good. okay, because there was a manga that came out a while back where they had the premise of someone became Yamcha, went back in time. Two people actually, I don't know if you heard of this manga, it came out uh-huh. a couple of years ago yeah. in Japan. It was like this one guy, he got transported into the Dragon Ball universe go, and he became Yamcha, so he actually made Yamcha stronger than he needed than he was originally in. Thank you, I, thank you. He, he went. I think. I think. But went, went, y'all just still lose his bitch though. So mm, mm. Okay, hold on, hold on. We got a couple of them in the in the in the comments, and we'll go back to Rod. Uh, let's see here. So Trail says Satan, no competition. Uh, he said, "I love TM, but Satan is rich, famous. People think he's the best." True. Trail uh, said Yamcha lost his girl to a dude he had to team up with. Can't be Yamcha, that guy. I, I can respect know. that. Come on, Hercule Ocean now. He's no longer the strongest, even without Z fighters. But I'd still be him because he'll die famous, rich, and ignorantly oblivious. Ignorantly oblivious is the top <laughs> one right there. That's the top Honestly, one right there. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Trust it. Uh, Jake Rand said, Trail, nah, I couldn't let my girl leave with Vegeta. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Now, uh, honestly, if I go in with the Dragon Ball lines, I, I pick TN. I might pick TN, honestly, and just TN? Him and restart the cream school. And restart the cream school again. Now, okay. If I want it to be special. If I just wanted to um be somebody other than Hercules, y'all know I'm picking Krillin. I'm sorry. Not pick the loose yeah. people are happy. And if you don't know why I'm picking Krillin, we can't be friends. He's I'm literally the top of the people watching the show don't know. Hey, hey, if you listen, don't know, he's a top human. Black Dragon Ball Z, don't know why I picked Krillin. <laughs> First of all, destructo dicks, that's it. Oh, I thought Second of all, 18. <laughs> yeah, you get a robot wife. Okay, that's cool. All right, so TN is, he said TN is technically homeless. Do better. <laughs> but I, I can respect that. But I understand why Rod said TN. I'll be honest. I will be honest. I would have to be Yamcha. I would come in as Yamcha. If I'm not Yamcha, then it's Krillin. Because Krillin is the, the yeah. obvious choice. But <laughs> the reason I would come in as Yamcha, and this is because Rob made a good point. If I know the Dragon Ball universe, right? If I don't know, then yeah, it would make sense that I come in as Hercule Krillin. But I know the Dragon Ball universe. One, we all know Bulma Ho. She is. If she for the streets, she for the I'm gonna streets. have my fun and leave her for the streets. She for the streets, bro. Second, I'm always remain that friendship with the smartest chick on the planet. So if I ever need anything, I can still get it. I feel right. That. I feel that. Second, she second, she for the streets. He was a professional baseball player. I was just about to bring that up. Who did not have to train a day in his life. That's facts. And no one could catch his pitch. But he stopped because he, because he put the spirit ball in the ball. Oh, he and Yamcha was a seven. He was Pretty sitting bad. there setting boys up. But he quit though. So but he quit. Dragon Ball Super but anime he was a quit because they made him quit. Why would I quit when I could be the un unhittable pitcher? So you're not gonna and quit. make millions. So you're not gonna quit. No. I would then. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I would be. I would be that pitcher. As Vegeta, though, I'm still stealing your bitch. Though. Wait, wait, wait. She was for the streets. She's she for was the never streets. mind. She's for the streets. <laughs> See, that's you the thing. That's what I'm saying. It's all about she your knowledge of it. She was, was for the streets. She was never mind. You right. You right. Boomer never... was less than over um um Zarbon. I mean, right. Not, she wanted everybody. She wanted anybody who she thought was powerful. She went after. They didn't even have to fight. He like Johnny. He like Johnny Cage. His name carries him through life. True, but here's the thing. Now here's one thing I do want to know. Does anybody know this? Versus, I don't know. Wait, that'd be a fun versus. Do we have a storyline for Mister Satan's past anywhere? Nope. The only because thing- I would love to write that. So, how did he get to be the rich, famous, and powerfully known Mr. Satan? 
I think you know what I, I might have an answer for you, Panda, for this one. The only things that are known, I think Toriyama might have brought it up a couple of times here about Satan, is that he had a dojo. His his sensei was murdered by General Tao, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I think that's it. I know he he was he had a famous JoJo. He was under okay. someone who had a famous JoJo. They got murdered by General Tao. That's the only official. But lore. we don't know how he got rich. We don't know how he became legendary across the world. You see Probably what I'm with saying? The school. Probably with the school. That's what I'm thinking. Could be, but yeah, if that's yeah, the case, Tien could have done the same thing. He, he never won a play. tournament because Goku was in one. Yeah, he won the last tournament. So he Goku won, won the last tournament. tournament, right? But was he? But did he start the tournament? Like that's what I'm saying. There's so much stuff about Satan that you, if you're being Satan, at what point in life are we being Satan? You gotta go think because they stopped doing the tournament after Goku won because hey, Goku and Piccolo was sure they like, He was at least 40 45 when we awesome. first saw him in Dragon Ball. He, he had to be old, bro. He was old when we met him. He was on a tournament before her before Goku came to Earth. He like no, 80 now. That nigga no. like 80 now. That's right. No, Sa no, Satan, I think, won the tournaments when they brought him back. I think after the so maybe probably. Right around before, the time of the Souls before game. Goku, when Goku was a kid and he went into that tournament, that was the last time anybody other than him won. <laughs> Goku was grown in the last tournament. No, 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 when he first went into the tournament as a kid and he fought Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, no that one has won a tournament since that man jumped in. Oh, no. He fought Chi Chi and then Goku married her ass. Right before Goku came to Earth, right, exactly. Yes. He probably did. He probably did. He probably did. Wouldn't yeah. be surprised because we don't know what happened. I mean, I wouldn't be don't... surprised if he came up with the tournaments. He might have been. He might. You know been. what I mean? Because he was always on the panel. Because the dojo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then they dojo. always said you get the. They actually, didn't they say that the first time Goku was in it? He's like, you get the chance yeah. to fight Mister the, the champion, Mister Hercule. Well, how many times does Goku win? He only won the, just the one against Piccolo. That's the only one he won. And no, 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 no. No, he was in the first the, when he first came he with Krillin. He lost all the ones he was as a kid. All the ones he lost. He lost to Jackie Chun. He, he lost, lost to Tien. Uh, and he beat Piccolo. So that's three. three. That's three. And he didn't win once he was, was a teenager. Right. The only one he, he won was the last one, 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 one since he got in there. Because that's when all the OP people came out the woodwork. Government. I mean, technically, the only tournament yeah, they Goku was like, who was this strong ass baby? They was they was like all sense in the power, and everybody came. Yeah. Technically, yeah. you know what? J Mac Infamous makes a good point here because if you think about Go tournaments, Goku won as an adult. The only one technically tournament of power. Technically, it did win. Yeah, but we're talking about Earth tournaments though. Oh, we're talking I'm about Earth about, tournament. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, so we're not going past Zia Super. Okay. I mean, technically now we talk about on... tournaments in general that he's won. How many? Well, how many tournaments have there been in Dragon Ball? No, he didn't win a tournament as a kid. Wait a minute. No, the, more, the, the, the Moxa tournament. movie, the, the Moxa movie won. The one with the when they took on in early Dragon Ball, the Baba tournament. He won that one. He won. Well, did he really win it? Oh, two. Because did because Vegeta blew the entire stadium up. No, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about in Dragon Ball, not Z. Oh, okay, Dragon. okay, okay. Fortune Baba tournament. He won that one. When they had to get the wish, they had to get the other Dragon Ball. So the Baba. Get oh, right before, right before GT hit. Okay. No, not not before GT Dragon Ball. I'm talking about That's what I said before. Yeah. Okay. He yeah. only won that and the tournament when he killed King Piccolo. There wasn't no tournament for you mean Piccolo. You mean normal Piccolo, Piccolo Junior. That's the only tournament he's won as an adult. Goku's only won one tournament. So we're gonna have to go time. look this up. And yeah, we gotta look this up. <laughs> we're gonna have to come back with all this, y'all. <laughs> because I know I don't want to say he lost TN and came back and beat the hell out of TN. I remember that. Yeah, that was so, the last one he had as a kid. That was the last one he had as a kid. TN was the defending champion when he went to the last one with Piccolo. We're just talking about Earth tournaments, right? Yeah, we're still on Earth tournament. I was trying to yeah, bring up the tournament Earth of power, right but yeah, even no, he didn't even won universe six, universe seven. Damn, that is damn. Goku's only won one tournament this entire time. Wow, <laughs> I just realized that thinking about 90 it. 90 percent of them get blown up, like nope, or they get or Goku gets disqualified for a dumbass reason. Well, yeah, only one, and it was the one <laughs> Piccolo, 
And they say he barely won that one. Exactly. No. Yeah, he's only won one. That's it. Goku. I'm trying to think of a sports reference for Goku in that situation, but I'm drawing right. a blank. He makes it to the finals, but don't get the ring for real. Oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. You get to one time. He's like, oh, I got it. I got it. Akeem Olajuwon. He was the only because, one with one title. Um, he he fought Pai Pai. Even the non-canon Goku didn't win the tournament. <laughs> See, Goku's only won one tournament. That's all bad. That's all bad. Anyway, but yeah, that I stand by my my chat. Nah, truly, I stand by mine. I say Yamcha. Ash won two leagues, so I mean, he he said Goku's literally Ash. (laughs) (laughs) No, Ash is even better than Goku. I mean, he won two leagues, so technically, I mean, technically, Goku has two wins. Remember, (laughs) Tournament Power was the second one. Technically, yep, that's true. He's the '90s yeah, jazz with Carl Malone, Malone and John Stockton. <laughs> that's real them. though. That's that's real but, yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. But he ain't got John. That's the only problem. He ain't got no John. He don't got John. Hey, dude, Krillin, John Stockton. Krillin don't count. <laughs> Krillin got knocked out early. Krillin could be John Stockton. Though. It, that's true. You just, you just, you just, you just rooting for the little man. That's all. <laughs> Muggsy Bowes is a Hall of Famer. Hey, Muggsy is a whole True. yeah, that's a vibe right there. Muggsy Bowes is a Hall of Famer. Yeah, that's 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 real. Krillin, Krillin is Muggsy. Is exactly. Muggsy. Yes, I agree with that 100 percent Krillin Muggsy. is the Muggsy of the Dragon Ball world. Same. Vegeta, Vegeta is John. John. <laughs> oh, I know we could count Vegeta because clearly Vegeta. Oh, hold up. While we're speaking on search. Um Trail is a Boston Celtics fan. You said what? Trail is a Boston Celtics fan. Oh, oh yeah, I know. I'm yeah. Miami. We don't discuss these things. No. <laughs> Trail. We got a problem right now, man. Krillin's a Hall of Famer for yeah. having Android 18. This, I'm, this, I'm not going to lie. I still want to know how that works and how that kid came about. But I'm not going to four star. I think Team Four uh, Star answered that question. Right. Excellent. Yeah. I think Team Four Star answered that one, Panda. Okay, I have to go hey, watch man. it. I haven't seen it yet. I've, I've been slacking one. on my bridge. You saw how we was coming to y'all before Jimmy got hurt last night, man. I'm just saying. Just, yeah, Panda, just watch the last episode of Dragon Ball Z and Bridge. Okay, okay. That's it. Just watch the last episode. All right, well, before y'all get deep, because y'all about to go at it. <laughs> um, Are y'all going to be free next weekend? Y'all think Should y'all gonna be free this weekend? Uh, we'll next be. weekend next is Carnival weekend in Orlando. So I'll oh, so you're not gonna be nowhere? Yeah, no. It's okay. no sleep weekend. Yeah, I probably I'm gonna be yeah, out. Nah, all that's weekend. cool. That's cool. We well, we already said we we're gonna do weekends two and three of the month, and the third one if we can. So you gotta have to fine. We, want, um, we did our two this time, this right? one month. Uh, so the next show for y'all that are on with us. The next show will be the 11th of oh, next right. month. That's right before my birthday. June 11th. Uh, no, no, sorry. 12th. When is your birthday again, Rod? 15th. 15th? Okay. 12th of June will be the next show. 12th of June. Um, we may do an extra to one on the 5th. It just depends on how schedules align, things of that nature. Uh, if we do, that's going to be our D&D show. Where we yes, start sir. finishing our uh, our actual story arc, we get into the actual story arc, the good stuff. Uh, moving forward, nice. so that'll be if we if we get time on the fifth, that'll be what we do then. But the next store, next show we do uh, as far as the Absolute Pandemonium podcast will be on the twelfth. Hope to see y'all. If we do plan another one on the fifth, I will make sure I post it on the Facebook page. Uh, speaking of which, where we at? <laughs> Boop. There you, go. there you go. Catch me there if you need to. Follow me here. That's the Panda General Facebook page, yes, sir. and then uh, all updates will be there or in the main page that we'll have as well. So I'll also put it on our TikTok, which we got, and Instagram. All of it is at Panda dot of dot Pandemonium, whether it's TikTok or Instagram. 
uh, Panda of Pandemonium on your Facebook. Y'all know vocab, solely spoken.com. Catch him there. Uh, if you ever miss a show, because we are going to be streaming strictly to Twitch from here on out, uh, at least for the near future, you can always catch us on YouTube as well. Uh, and that's that Panda of Pandemonium. Uh, you guys, y'all clearly you got us on Twitch here, so of course, we're gonna have stuff here. Uh, and other than that, we look forward to seeing y'all. We're gonna go ahead and wrap everything up, gentlemen. Any last words before we roll out? Pizza and shit. Pizza and six. Oh, heat and six. He said heat and six. Oh, lord. All right. Oh, other than that, y'all, we appreciate you swinging by and joining and spending time with us. It's your boy, Spanda Pandemonium, and the rest of the crew. We signing out. Catch y'all next time. Yep. Yep. See you later.